Good morning, everyone. This is Jeff with the Cyber Pro Podcast, where industry leaders share their insights. It's five questions in about nine minutes because hackers don't sleep. So we should drink more coffee and jump right in. <laughs> Question number one. In a few sentences, Eric, please tell us who you are and what you do. Well, good morning, Jeff. Uh, thank you for the coffee mention. I'm actually having a cup right now. So my name is Eric Barnett. I'm a former United States Marine. And for my day life, I'm an innovations director at BSI Solutions in Charlotte, North Carolina, where they have four main disciplines, artificial intelligence, blockchain, extended reality, and quantum computing. And for my nightlife, I'm an entrepreneur and an inventor of a home internet security technology called Home Sirens. Excellent. Uh, being, uh, being an inventor, as well as juggling that with your day job, what would you say is the best or most fascinating part about Ooh. inventing things in your life? That's a good one. Um, I would actually say the best part about inventing is that you get to look at problems, not in such a way of what becomes the obstacle, but more or less of what does it take to get over the obstacle? So you really have to think like outside of the box. You have to think about things that people don't normally would think about. Is there a different way to code it? Is there a different way to view it? You know, life is just full of interesting problems. And with innovation and the ability to think on the fly to get across those problems is what makes it exciting. It's what makes it, you know, come to life. And it almost gives you an adrenaline rush, right? Where you can to think about uh, a technology that you thought about paper and then bring it to life. So much like a painter doing painting in, in, uh, in their free time uh, or an architect building in their first architectural building, right? When you start to look at it and see it, you really become proud of all the things you put in. And so you realize that the energy that you have can actually be put to a lot of great things when you're looking at inventors. Well put. Um, question number three. So we hear from other industry leaders that cybersecurity is not only a top concern, but mm -hmm. only getting bigger. And let's be honest, the last year certainly has pushed things faster than a lot of us even expected. Yeah. So that being said, what does cybersecurity mean to you? Uh, job security. <laughs> no, actually, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm playing. It, it's it really what it means is that you know, 20 years ago, people were doing business in a much different manner, right? It was all about the close personal relationship that you had. Uh, you were basically doing deals over a dinner, maybe over a cocktail drink. Uh, maybe you were having a cigar or you were at an event. You're seeing the person face to face. You're shaking hands. Unless you're in Japan, then you're kind of bound. But for the most part, everything was all right then and there, right? Now, the business has changed. It's transformed into the digital age where... Everything can be done with two clicks of a mouse or two touch, right? You know, click, click, you put your name onto a signed document of a statement of work. Click, click, you put into an email, you send it out. Click, click, they sign it. They go ahead and draft the PO, send that out. Click, click, you check your bank account, make sure that account money is there. So business happens so quickly that a lot of times people kind of forget that what it takes for that speed of business to happen is really complex in nature and does take a lot of discipline and education to understand how do things flow from point A to point B. So this almost becomes forgotten. And in that sense, they don't really pay attention to it. Therefore, they don't put the, the necessary need, the budget, the focus, the, the, the resources, um, the ideas to say, hey, let's try to make things happen. Let's try to innovate. Let's try to do something beyond what we've been doing today. Wow. Yeah, uh, that's uh, couldn't agree more. I'm stuttering. Um, <laughs> question, number, <laughs> question number four, what insights about cybersecurity has become the framework of our existence? Would you care to share with our community? I do. I do. You know, I think that's the one area that I love as a cybersecurity technologist at heart uh, is because in this space, what we're really seeing is that cybersecurity and technology is a one for one concept, right? You can't have one without the other. Um, and what we're seeing with technology in itself, it's really bleeding into the uh, facets of life, right? From manufacturing to um, agricultural and farming to robotics to telecommunications. I mean, there's a lot of different things that we're really looking at, hey, what's this manual step? Can we put it into a digital format and can we make it go faster? 
well, that's great and all, but now we have to look at the security components of it. Is it secure enough to go faster? Can somebody take that same exact thing and do something malicious to it? Mm -hmm. I think we're seeing more of that day in and day out with what we call the internet of things. Um, and these are really everyday technologies that are going to interface with society as a whole. So eventually I think, you know, we as humans, uh, as we grow up, we're gonna have to start to think about cybersecurity, not so much as a job, but more or less a necessity to understand how do we do things from point A to point B? How do we get in the car to make sure that's not getting hacked into? How do we make sure that our information is now more private instead of it giving away through applications and things of that nature, just because we're providing us a free service? So we're really seeing technology um, become a really big focal point. And honestly, I think we're kind of, well, I won't say I think we're kind of, I'm going to say definitively, we were actually living in this digital new era where we get to change the industry as it's happening, as it's taking place. So I see more people transitioning from their old careers into the digital uh, uh, industry, into the different um, areas that you have, right? For networking, cybersecurity, robotics, AI, blockchain, things of that nature. So it's gonna become a lot more prevalent. Um, and I think the quicker we understand this and we try to treat this with as seriousness as we do with such as climate change, um, I think it's going to become more beneficial for us in the protection of not only our data, but also with the things that we live with, like with water, with power, uh, with the necessities that really drive and, and, and help life grow. Yeah, yeah. I think a, a key takeaway from, from the, the few topics that you covered is that, you know, cybersecurity as well as technology in general is not only, it, it is evolving from a mm -hmm. nice to have to a must have for all of our lives. And as we yes. go into the future, it becomes more of a, a basic understanding or a skill set than something that's more ethereal and out there that it has been for the last 20 years or so. Well, Absolutely. Yeah, well put. Uh, final question, a, a yeah. fun one. Please tell us right. about a retro piece of technology that gets you smiling. Okay. Retro technology that gets me smiling all the time, every day when I think about this, has to be my Sega Genesis with Mortal Kombat. Uh, and the reason why was the first time I was able to apply a, a controller hack to get the blood code. So the blood code for Sega Genesis Mortal Kombat is as such. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, C, A, B, B, start. It's probably one of the best things I love each and every day, you know, I'd come home, I'd have nothing to do, first hand do, Mortal Kombat. Let's get it. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, for those of us who want to learn a little bit more about you, Eric, or perhaps what you do in sure. your life, yeah. what is mm -hmm. the best way to get a hold of you? Sure. Um, you can check me out in two different areas. Uh, first is BSI Solutions here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And second is Home Sirens, uh, which is the technology I'll be coming out with here later on this year. That's Excellent. Cool. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time this morning, Eric. We really appreciate yeah. you coming on. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Jeff. Listen, I appreciate the opportunity. And to all the cybersecurity technologists out there, keep rocking, keep pushing. Nice. And for those of you who know the Cyber Pro podcast well, you know that we publish about three or four different episodes every week with different viewpoints and perspectives in the cybersecurity world. We wanted to say thank you for your time this morning and be well. Yes. See you guys.